What are the positives of it? Well, it should protect the paint. All right. If, if you have a sense of urgency and you jam down, I don't, I don't like jamming behind when going under. I like peak hedging because it bubbles that screen out a little bit. Whereas if you're jamming, even if the guard can't shoot, if they get ahead of steam, by the time you're stopping them, you're meeting them at the paint. So I think if you do it right when guarding the screen or you're peak hedging and you're eliminating the paint touch. I think what another positive is it's scout specific to force opponents into weaknesses. All right. You're forcing an opponent, a guard who can't shoot into, into for, uh, having to shoot the ball. And, uh, and, and of course, I think the best thing about it is the flexibility you could do with any type of hedge on, uh, with the screener. The negatives, it shouldn't be done on all coverages. I don't think it's an identity to have. I think it is a scout specific coverage. Um, it actually can, can allow the paint, which the, that's the goal is to eliminate it. But on the rescreens, as you saw on the one clip, someone might actually start getting more paint touches as a result of it. And the other thing I think is big is when you're going underneath it, there's less ball pressure. So guards can make passes throughout the floor. So it's more of a passive way to defend. But if you're guarding a really, really good driving guard who can't shoot, it's something that we even consider on at the college level, as you saw in some of those clips of uh, of in league games. So flat and drop coverage, I combined the two. I think they're the exact same. Some people would argue with you or would argue with me, but the the, the point is the hedge man in this situation, he stays flat. Now they should escort up to the basketball, but then they're going to stay flat and start walking back at that time. Let's see the clips. Here, let's go ahead and pause it. So this is our team at Emporia State. This is Devin Rottweiler. Devin doesn't move really well, okay? I can't ask him at 250 pounds to get out and hard hedge. We tried to make him do it. He just can't do it. We wanted to play him. He's playing about 10 minutes a night. When he was on the floor, we started to flat hedge as a result of it, okay? So you see Devin get up. He's showing hands off there, and, and, and he's here. Our guard is, is assigned to go over top.